Declaration of confidence in God's protection. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we condemn. This is our heritage as servants of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you, O Lord of hosts. If there are those who have been speaking, praying against us, seeking harm or evil to us, or who have rejected us, we forgive them and, having forgiven them, we bless them in the name of Jesus. According to Matthew 5 verse 43 to 45, ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he mocketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Romans 12 verse 14. Bless those who persecute you, bless, and curse not. Now we declare, our Father, that you and you alone are our God, and besides you, there is no other, a just God and our Savior. We submit ourselves afresh to you this day in unreserved obedience. Having submitted to you, Father, we do as your word directs. We resist the devil, all his pressures, his attacks, and his deceptions, every instrument or agent he would seek to use against us. We do not submit. We resist him, drive him away from us, and exclude him from us, in the name of Jesus. Specifically, we reject and repel infirmity, pain, infection, inflammation, malignancies, allergies, viruses, and every form of witchcraft. Finally, Father, we thank you that through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we have passed out from under the curse and entered into the blessing of Abraham, whom you bless in all things, exaltation, health, reproduction, prosperity, victory, and God's favor. According to Galatians 3 verse 13 to 14, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Sealing off prayer before deliverance. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are God Almighty and that you are the great I Am. We thank you that you have given us the Holy Spirit to be the Counselor, Standby, Advocate, Teacher, the Deliverer. We thank you for your presence and for your deliverance and anointing. It will be the anointing that will break the yoke. Come and fill us with your spirit, compassion, love, discernment, word of knowledge, wisdom, interpretation, and insight. We, as your children, choose to crucify the flesh so that nothing from ourselves will be transferred here. We clothe ourselves with your priestly garments to fulfill the calling you have upon our lives. Open our spiritual eyes and ears, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you have given us all the power over the enemy and that nothing shall in any way harm us. Luke 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We forbid any interference with the work of the Holy Spirit. Father, we come against any communication lines, according to Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Between the powers, world rulers, principalities, spiritual hosts, and demonic hosts in the air, earth, heavenlies, and under the earth. We close off all entrances and exits in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that all spiritual cameras and recorders be smashed in Jesus' name. We come against any witches, witch doctors, magicians, and wizards in the name of Jesus Christ. We cut off all communication with Satan himself and close the doors in the name of Jesus. We forbid any spirit from the outside to enter this place for whatever reason, and we forbid any evil spirit to be sent to any other place or person as a result of what happens here. We now forbid any reinforcement of power from the side of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord, we ask for confusion into the enemy's camp. Father, we ask you to set up your warring angels in this room and arrest any human spirit, dead human spirit, spirit guide, familiar spirit and remove them to become the footstool of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bind every evil spirit in this place and forbid any violence, manifestations, and tormenting in the name of Jesus Christ. We refuse any meditation circles. Isolate any power of demonic forces from each other in the name of Jesus Christ. We forbid and bind any hypnosis and self-hypnosis, meditation, physic powers in the name of Jesus Christ. We isolate the powers one from another in Jesus' name. We cleanse the four elements, water, air, fire, and earth with the blood of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to cover all mirrors with your blood and seal off the gateways in Jesus' name. We come against any spells, rituals, incantations, hexes, sacrifices, curses, or altars raised up against us. Thank you that you blow out all candles which may have been lit in rituals against us in Jesus' name. Thank you that all curses are reversed into blessings. Lord, we ask that you seal off this room with your precious blood, that you will hide us in the spirit and declare this room as holy ground. Lord, we ask you to send your ministering angels to come and minister to us in Jesus' name, according to Hebrews 1 verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for them, who shall be heirs of salvation? We surrender to you, Holy Spirit, because we know that it is not by might, nor by power, but by your Spirit, says the Lord in, Zechariah 4 verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. We ask that you cover our loved ones, and we place all circumstances under your control and protection our family, finances, marriages, relationships, ministries. We now bind Satan's kingdom here on earth, just as it is bound in heaven. We ask you, Father, to prepare the heavenly courtroom, and that all the demons and familiar spirits come and take their places. We ask you, Father, to be the judge, Jesus the advocate, and the Holy Spirit the witness. Thank you for your word in Revelation 12 verse 11, that says that we have overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb, and the word of our testimony, in Jesus' name. State your case in the heavenly courtroom. Heavenly Father, you have called us to come boldly and enter into your throne room, and lay our petitions before you. We ask that you begin to bring all these into reality. Father, show us your strength as you have done before. We want to see the God of Moses, who went before his people and opened the Red Sea for them. We want to see the God of Peter, whose anointing was so strong that even Peter's shadow brought healing to those that he passed by. Father, come to our rescue. Save us from the enemy who trample your children down. You have promised that we will be the head and not the tail. Father, come to our aid. We speak these things standing on the righteousness that is in Christ, and we ask you to do these things for us in Jesus' name deliverance, and protection over our children. According to Leviticus 5 verse 17 to 19, and Psalm 19 verse 11 to 12, we bring all sin before your throne, God Almighty, sin on our bloodline, known and unknown, hidden. We ask your forgiveness and bring it under the blood of Jesus Christ. We petition against the spirit of Lester, the spirit that is assigned to visit the sins of the fathers over children, every gatekeeper, every familiar spirit and spirit guides that were placed over our children in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind them and strip them of their assignments. We petition against the God of this world where there is blindness of the mind. We petition that this blinding effect will be destroyed with the fire of the Holy Spirit. We petition against the voice of this world that wants to call our children. We strike this voice with dumbness in the name of Jesus Christ, we break the curse of a worldly attitude. We petition against the prince of darkness and strip him of all authority and ranking and dismantle him in the spirit over our children. We cancel every assignment over their lives. We petition against the mountain of destruction 
and we call every part of our children's bodies, souls, and spirits out from this mountain. We break every curse of disinheritance over our children and strip every demonic power connected with this of their assignments. We place God's boundaries around our children. Isaiah 11 verse 2, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. We ask you, Father, to change these curses into blessings, the blessing of being a fellow heir with Christ, Ephesians 3 verse 6, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Romans 8 verse 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. We petition against the future plans of Satan over our children, and we close all back doors he wants to use to petition against them. Also concerning their choices of marriage partners, their choices of careers, etc. Father, we petition that your plans will be released over them. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Psalm 139 verse 16 to 17. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! We petition against the plans connected to the sun, moon, stars, planets, cosmos, constellations, and alignments in the heavenlies. We cut our children loose from them in the name of Jesus Christ. We petition against everything written between the stars and everything not mentioned, but applicable. We petition, Father, that you will issue a restraining order from your throne room to stop Satan and his agents, human or else, in their pursuit to steal, kill or destroy our children, and keep them from your truth and life of abundance. John 10 verse 10, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Father, we petition that our children will be like olive trees, full of your anointing according to Psalm 128 verse 3. Petition for Protection Abba Father, God of Israel, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We honor you as our sovereign King. You are the only all-powerful and only wise God. You are kind and loving in all your ways. We love you and we thank you that we are united with Jesus and spiritually alive in him. We humbly come before your throne and I in the name of Jesus. We acknowledge any unforgiven sin and we ask for your mercy, your forgiveness and cleansing through our repentance and confession. According to 1 John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We declare that we stand before you by virtue of the completed, perfect work that Jesus did on the cross, covered by his blood and clothed with his righteousness. We further declare that we have been redeemed from the hand of Satan, and that through the blood of Jesus, all our sins are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we petition for your divine protection for all family members, close friends, relationships, finances, health, pets, and possessions, and everything else related to you is but not mentioned here. We petition before you to protect us with the spiritual armor, according to Ephesians 6, through the power of your name, according to Matthew 12, verse 21, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust, Psalm 144, verse 1 to 2, through your angels that will form a hedge around us, Psalm 103, verse 20, Psalm 91, Hebrews 1, verse 14, through the blood of Jesus, Colossians 1, verse 20, and with a wall of fire around us, according to Zechariah 2, verse 5. We petition before you to protect us and everything else mentioned and not mentioned, against principalities, powers, wicked spirits in the air, human spirits, worldly systems and organizations, any form of energy sent against us, light waves, sound waves, cosmic energy, powers from the planets, stars, moon and sun, of other galaxies, powers from the waters, powers from under the earth, 
powers from the realms of the dead, or from hell, or any other form of power not mentioned but applicable. Romans 8 verse 34 to 39, Psalm 140, Psalm 148. We petition for our protection body, soul, and spirit in every way. We petition before you to deliver us from the power of Satan, Lucifer, the beast, the Antichrist, and the false prophet, Colossians 1 verse 13 to 14. Further, we petition before you to deliver us from cosmic powers like sun, moon, stars, planets, galaxies, heavenly, and any other cosmic power not mentioned but applicable, territorial spirits, water spirits in the sea, the rivers, etc. powers from the earth, powers from the mountains, powers from the realms of the dead, powers from hell, and the specific demons assigned to keep watch over us. We petition that all other demons or human spirits that are assigned to us be expelled or dealt with by you at the right time and in the right manner, Ecclesiastes 8 verse 5 to 8. We petition that all things that are written up regarding us, and more specifically between the stars, on the earth, under the earth, in the waters and the waters under the earth, every place of secret, be wiped out and deleted by the power of the blood of Jesus, and the power of your word, Colossians 2 verse 14, be it covenants, plans, oaths, vows, or any other kind of secrets. This applies to any contract agreed upon, written, or spoken. We counterpetition every hex, curse, spell, any form of magic, white, black, red, green, etc., incantations, rituals, or any other kind of activities from Satan, his demons, or his servants in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 40 verse 2, 3, 12 to 13. We petition for you, according to Proverbs 3 verse 26, to be our confidence, firm and strong, and that you will keep our feet from being caught in a trap or snare or hidden danger. And finally, we petition, according to Psalm 76 verse 6, that at your rebuke both the chariot and horse will be cast into a deep sleep. According to Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3, to go before us, to level the mountains, to make the crooked places straight, to break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut the bars of iron, to give us the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, because we know that it is you, the God of Israel, who called us by name. Thank you, Father, for the abundance of your grace that you are pouring over us right now. Thank you that according to your word in Joel 2 verse 32, it will come to pass that whoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Thank you that according to your word in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, you will answer when we call you and show us great and mighty things, which we did not know. Finally, Lord, we thank you that through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we have passed out from under the curse and entered into the blessing of Abraham, whom you blessed in all things, namely, victory, health, financial prosperity, and God's favor. Father, I ask that you wash my spirit, soul, and body with the blood of the Lamb. I curse every corruptible seed that has been planted in me, and I command it to wither and die. I command every foul, unclean spirit that may have attached itself to me, to lose me, to leave this property, to seek dry ground and never return. In Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I bind every evil spirit that is in this room, in this house, and command them to flee right now and go where the Lord Jesus Christ sends them. I renounce and reject any inch of this house and property that has been yielded or surrendered unto Satan, and by faith I take it back and surrender it to Jesus. By faith, I claim that this room and this house is covered under the blood of Jesus and no evil spirit can enter it. I claim this over every room in the house. I dedicate and consecrate this home to Jesus and Satan has no hold on it at all. I surrender everything in this house to Jesus Christ and claim it is under his divine protection including all electrical wiring and plumbing. I bind every evil spirit that is in this house by the precious blood of the Lamb and command them to flee, and go where Jesus Christ sends them. I claim by faith that everything in this house is covered under the blood of Jesus Christ, from the top of the roof to the bottom of the footing, 
including the foundations and everything in between, and especially anything that conducts electricity. I claim by faith that this house is surrounded by a hedge of protection, a wall of fire, a wall of faith, and covered under the blood of Jesus Christ on all sides, above and below. I pray that powerful warring angels would come to protect the four corners of this house and property and everyone inside. Thank you, Father, for the complete victory we already have in Jesus Christ. I ask that this home be consecrated with your divine presence so that everyone who enters it will be blessed with spiritual blessings from heavenly places. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that you are the Lord of heaven and earth. In your sovereign power and love, you have given me all things to enjoy. Thank you for this place to live. I claim my home as a place of spiritual safety for me and my family and ask for your protection from all the attacks of the enemy. Father, command Satan and all evil spirits to release me in order that I can be free to know and to choose to do the will of God. In Jesus' name. Father, command every evil spirit to leave my presence. In Jesus' name. I belong to God and the evil one cannot touch me. Father, command every evil spirit claiming ground in this place, based on the activities of past or present occupants, including me, to leave and never return, in Jesus' name. I renounce all curses and spells directed against this place. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to post your holy, warring angels around this place to guard it from any and all attempts of the enemy to enter and disturb your purposes for me and my family. I thank you, Lord, for doing this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your presence in my life. You are the only omniscient, all-knowing, omnipotent, all-powerful and omnipresent, always present, God. I am dependent upon you. For apart from you I can do nothing. Father, I ask you, in the name of Jesus, to hold back the forces of Satan and his kingdom while I sleep and my children are sleeping. Satan, you and any evil spirit in your kingdom that could be in or around our properties, I bind you and drive you out in the name of Jesus. Father, cover my mind, brain and memories, my conscious, unconscious and subconscious, and those of my children, with the blood of Jesus. I bind up any spirits of terror, fear, nightmares, or torment with the blood of Jesus. Father, I ask you to fill me and my children with your Holy Spirit and lead me into all truth. I pray for your complete protection and ask for your guidance. In Jesus' name, Psalms 17 verse 6 to 8, I have called upon you, for you, O God, will answer me. Incline your ear to me, hear my speech. Wondrously show your marvelous and amazing loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me and my children in your affectionate care, protect us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the protective shadow of your wings. Thank you, Lord, that you have brought us into your family and have blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven. Thank you for this time of renewal and refreshment through sleep. I accept it as one of your blessings for your children, and I trust you to guard my mind and my body and those of my children during sleep. As I have thought about you and your truth during the day, I choose to let those good thoughts continue in my mind while I am asleep. I commit myself to you for your protection against every attempt of Satan and his demons to attack me during sleep. Please guard my mind from nightmares and those of my children. I renounce all fear and cast every anxiety upon you, Lord. I commit myself to you as my rock, my fortress, and my strong tower. May your peace be upon this place of rest now. In the all-powerful name of Jesus Christ. Protection over sleep. Our Father, I come to you now to be restored in you, to be renewed in you, to receive your love and life, to take refuge in you. I honor you as my sovereign, and I surrender every aspect of my life totally and completely to you. I give you my body, soul and spirit, my heart, mind and will. I cover myself with your blood, and I ask your Holy Spirit to restore my union with you. Renew me in you, and lead me in this time of prayer. 
I bring the kingdom of God and the authority of Jesus Christ over my home, my bedroom, my sleeping, all through the hours of this night and the new day. I bring the full work of Jesus through my home tonight, the atmosphere in every room, over every object and furnishing, all media, throughout the ceilings, walls and floors, and all places in them, from the land beneath to the roof above and to the borders of my domain. And in the authority of Jesus, I bring the full work of Jesus between me and all people now, their spirits, souls, and bodies, their sin and warfare. I command the judgment of Jesus on every foul power and black art. I bring the cross and the blood of the Lamb. I bring His resurrection and life, His authority and rule and dominion against every hex, vex, and incantation, against every spell, all rituals and all ritual devices, all satanic rituals and satanic ritual devices, against every vow, dedication, and sacrifice, against every word, every judgment, and every curse. I send it all to the abyss in the authority of Jesus and in his name. I now bring the authority of Jesus and the fullness of his work against Satan and his kingdom. I bring the cross, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus against every foul and unclean spirit, every ruler, power, authority, and spiritual force of wickedness. Ephesians 6 verse 12 I command all foul and unclean spirits bound from my home and from my household. I bind the strong man, together with all their underlings, backups, and replacements, in the authority of Jesus and in his name. I announce the kingdom of God over my home and my house this night. Father, summon your angels and ask them to build a shield of protection around me, my children and my home. Hebrews 1 verse 14 May your spirit fill my home with your presence, and to go forth and raise up prayer and intercession for me this night. All this I pray in the almighty name of Jesus, to your glory. Father, I come before you in prayer. I enter your gates with thanksgiving, and enter your courts with praise, because you are worthy, holy, righteous, and just. I apply the blood of Jesus over myself, my dwelling place, my spouse, my children, my car, my bank account, and everything under my stewardship. I pray that your heavenly hosts, your angels, would guard this dwelling place roundabout, both above and below. I will say of the Lord that you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, and you will I trust. I thank you that you set a hedge of protection round about me, and that no plague will come near my dwelling. I thank you in advance that every curse, hex, spell, incantation, voodoo, sorcery, form of witchcraft, dark art, or other form of weaponized demonic activity sent against me, would be reversed upon the heads of the cinders sevenfold, that they would know that Jesus is Lord. Moreover, I pray that every human spirit, fallen angelic spirit, or otherwise malevolent spirit attempting to come against me or my household, would be apprehended by your heavenly hosts such that they cannot so much as set foot upon this property. I pray that they would be escorted out to wherever the Lord Jesus sends them, pierced through with many arrows, and discomfited by your lightning in the process, that they would know that Jesus is Lord. Furthermore, I cancel and render powerless all attempts at mind-to-mind -mind communication, dream manipulation, and all other forms of psychic and telepathic intrusion, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that all my dreams are inspired by your Holy Spirit. I declare that my sleep will be sweet, uninterrupted, and that upon waking, I will be well rested. I also put on the armor of light. I take up the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth. I declare that my feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and I take up the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God. I pray all of this in the almighty name of Jesus. Wrapping up prayer, after deliverance. Heavenly Father, thank you for the work being done here today. We pray against any whiplash, backlash and judgment from the enemy in Jesus' name. We ask, Lord, that you will cut any ungodly soul ties formed in the spirit because of the deliverance that took place. 
We plant the cross of Jesus Christ between us and the enemy. Thank you that no transference will take place. We take out comprehensive insurance for our families, relationships, and possessions. We ask that you will cleanse and purify this property and this room and this house with the blood of Jesus Christ and your holy fire, that no demon will attach itself to any object and all human and dead human spirits be removed by your escort angels to the footstool of Jesus Christ, that all defilement be removed and swept away with your broom of destruction in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you remove that watchdog and marker demons that have been assigned by the kingdom of darkness to mark the property in the spirit for a counter-attack through astral projection to the feet of Jesus Christ. We also want to declare the lordship of Jesus Christ over this place and that all openings are sealed off with your blood. Openings like telephone, fax, computer, water, sewerage, electricity. Amen.